Any opportunity to visit beautiful Sabeel stables is one that certainly has to be grasped. But today we're here on quite important business because His Excellency, the British Ambassador to the UAE, Philip Parham, is here to visit the stables for the very first time. At the moment, Satish Seymour is giving him the grand tour, but hopefully in a moment we'll be able to catch up with him and find out exactly what he thinks of the place. The ambassador and his wife Kasha were given a VIP tour of the premises, taking in everything from the feed room to the farrier's workshop to some horses swimming and, best of all, they got a meet and greet with the rock star himself, Group 1 winner, Reynaldo the Wizard. It was the ambassador's first visit to a Dubai stables, so we managed to grab a quick word with him to find out what he made of it all. So hopefully you've had a, an enjoyable morning. What made you decide to, to come down here this morning? Uh, well, I had the invitation and uh, uh, was very keen to accept it uh, because this is clearly a very uh, important, exciting, interesting, but perhaps not as well known as it should be, part of the relationship between the UK and Dubai. And Satish has given you, I think, quite an extensive tour. What, what do you think of the place? Uh, well, it's amazing. I mean, I'm not an expert on horses, even though um, from the age of five I lived very near Ascot, which is where my parents still live, have lived for the last 50 years. Um, but uh, it's just amazing to see the, uh, all the expertise and the care and the knowledge that goes into the operation here. Um, you know, the, uh, everything from the feed to the way in which they're kept in the stables, to the swimming, to the uh, uh, sort of massage spa, uh, and the way that they're exercised and the way that each horse has its own, um, you know, custom made regime. Uh, it's fascinating. Mm, it, it really is and yeah. obviously the links that you mentioned there between the UAE and the UK through racing are extensive and it must be, well, it's exciting for us when you see the McToom family and the huge investment they've got over in, in British racing. It's kind of a bit about time that the UK gave something back maybe. <laughs> well yeah, I mean what, what they have done for British racing over the last 40 plus years uh, is, is extraordinary. You know Godolphin and the other uh, investments in British racing and involvement in British racing from the Al Maktoum family have really shaped and influenced it over, over decades and there are thousands of people who work uh, for them and the stables and the land and the horses um, and the sort of presence that they bring to racing in the UK is, is fantastic um, and, and it's the sport of kings racing and the relationship between the ruling families of the UK and of Dubai is a very important part of the overall relationship uh, between Dubai and the UK and um, this this connection between the ruling families of racing is is one important strand of that um, and as you just uh, implied of course we're seeing now more uh, involvement coming the other way as well and this morning as it happens I just met uh, an English owner and his family who are here to see their horse that's being trained here, race here for the first time in, in a few days. Uh, so that's an exciting trend as well. Is that something you'd, you'd like to encourage more British owners taking sort of advantage of the facilities here in the UAE for their horses? Uh, why not? Absolutely. I mean, this seems to me to be uh, a classic case of, um, uh, you know, an area where there is uh, two-way traffic you know there's benefit in both directions the UK has obviously benefited enormously as I said from the involvement of Dubai and the ruling family of Dubai in racing in the UK and um, you know let's hope that there can be benefit in the other direction as well and as I'm sure Satish will, will have told you most of the horses here come from the UK they're purchased at, at Tattersalls yeah. and I suppose that's quite important in terms of you know, sort of getting a, an income stream into British racing for people going back here, buying horses and then bringing them back. It's, it's uh, great. No, absolutely, yes. Yeah, but, you know, it really is, uh, as I said, a classic case of, of you know, mutual benefit and uh, mutual enjoyment and excitement. Um, and, and one of the other big benefits that uh, Dubai has brought to UK racing as well, I understand, of course, is sponsorship for Channel 4 coverage of, of racing as well. And do you think that sort of in this uncertain time, should we say, that, that sport is just kind of a way for countries in general just to kind of get on and, and, and bond and, as you say, sort of share a, a mutual passion? Yeah, uh, without any doubt at all. And of course, um, you know, racing is a very special uh, sporting link between Dubai and the UK, but there are all sorts of other 
sporting links uh, too. I think the English cricket team has, has just been here in the UAE for, for several weeks. Um, we've just had the Dubai Rugby Sevens where the English seven-a-side team, although they lost unfortunately to PG in the final, nevertheless um, uh, you know, regarded almost as a home team here. And uh, perhaps little known fact now, I don't know, but not among sporting fans maybe, um, Sebastian Coe, one of his first big race wins was the Dubai Golden Mile. Um, and that's actually an example of um, uh, innovation and uh, trailblazing in sports sponsorship as well, which Dubai has, has done, uh, you know, starting with uh, maybe racing and things like the Dubai Golden Mile and of course Emirates, uh, you know, who are amazing sponsors of sport around the world, including in the UK. So I know Cecilia has invited you along um, racing at Maidan. You've met the, the stable stars. Are we going to be able to get you hooked on, on the sport, do you think? I think without any doubt after this morning, yes. And my wife too, who's, who she knows much more about horses than I do uh, and, and has been a keen rider herself. So I think without any doubt from this morning on, we're hooked. <laughs>